enter and, and entrepreneurial learning. MIT, the graduates from the MIT have established 400 companies and now the, uh, the revenues from those 400 companies uh, is uh, 300 billion US dollars. This is the power, uh, power of entrepreneurship. Number six is the international collaborations. Higher education institutions could collaborate, collaborate more directly with each other to share resources, approaches, and what work in their respective areas of expertise and regions. Number seven, personalized education. The skills taught are specific uh, to the needs and requirements of the organizations, whether the public organizations or the private organizations. However, as, as with the general education, a one-size-fits-all approach is becoming less attractive. Ensure higher education curricula to be flexible and adaptable to the learning requirements and capabilities of the learning. That means we should enhance the optional subject the, uh, uh, so that the student can uh, opt the, uh, the subjects relevant to, uh, uh, to, to his uh, liking or his uh, career planning. Another very important area that we should focus in our universities is the apprenticeship program. In Europe, apprenticeship is valued as a strong instrument in combating youth unemployment and helping exit the crisis. Internship should be an integral part of all the BS programs. Then number nine is the global standardization of higher education. Higher education is implemented in different ways across the world with high income countries being much further ahead in terms of approach, standards, financing, etc. Low to middle income countries struggle with funding and other issues. Establishing globally recognized transferable learner records and micro-credentials uh, micro -credential standards that enable seamless transfer of skills gained across higher education institutions and employers would create a more flexible and adaptable job market which would be of great benefit for the both employers and employees. This can be achieved by getting accreditation from international certification agencies. Number 10, data becomes the new digital currency. The value of data is exponentially rising from the readily availability of personal data which social media technology companies trade for the billions in dollars of advertising revenue to the ever-expanding growth of all type of data on the internet, cyber security, data science, knowledge farmers are among the skill, skills currently high in demand and will be so for the foreseeable future. Higher education would do well to build on the development of these and related skills as core components of all existing curricula. Number 11 is a border-free frictionless world. The transition to work online has changed the dynamics around the future of work. It is imperative to train learners to work in different global regions, mixing with colleagues from different cultures and learning to deliver work in a multinational, multicultural environment. E-commerce freelancing should also be included in that curriculum. Number 12 is a human source development in mineral processing. In fact, the Pakistan is blessed with the with the youth and human resource and the natural resources. If we can harness both, the Pakistan can be a wealthiest, uh, well, the, uh, the wealthiest nation in the world. For instance, Pakistan has a coal having a worth of 30 trillion US dollars. Similarly, Pakistan has gold, copper, iron, calcium carbonate, bauxite, China clay, feldspar, silica, many more. Pakistan has 60% hilly area, uh, uh, fill up with, with, the, with the minerals. If we can develop the human resource to excavate these mineral resources and enrich them, beneficiate the, 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 these mineral resources and sell into the international market, we can earn a lot of wealth. So we should develop the center of excellences and degree programs in the mineral processing technology as well. So by tapping the human resource development and the natural resource development, uh, we can uh, overcome our uh, uh, our economic problems as well. So these are the references that have been used to prepare this talk. Uh, thank you very much.